Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you my um application I'm making. It's based off a macro I saw. Basically, there was this macro that allows you to auto draw, and I thought, wow, this is amazing. Only if it was built into an application. <laughs> so I decided to make it. First thing I had to do was actually uh, turn a colored image to black and white, which I wouldn't say is the hardest part. It was actually pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> what I had to do was first, I grabbed the code that made an image into a grayscale. And what this did was it turned it to like the grayish part of its color, uh, which is different. Basically, what I had to do was I had to determine if a color was closer to black or to white. And that requires math and shit because you can't just do that off of a hex um, code. You have to actually calculate the R RBG values to decide uh, if it's closer to black or white. And then once that's done, you set it up. So this is how, oh, yeah, this, <laughs> this is my project, uh, yeah. But this is the program. Okay, what you're seeing here is just the image preview box, which when you click the image itself, pops open a box. <clears throat> it gives you the full preview. Basically, my application is going to be like this. You select where you want to start. It's not fully finished. For one, it goes too fast. It goes really too fast. Um, Paint.net was just freezing when it, when I was doing it, so there's still a little stuff I need to fix. Okay, so basically I'm going to add a delay before start. This is not programmed yet. It's, it's here, but it's not programmed physically. Um, and mouse speed. I'm going to program those two. <clears throat> basically... Delay before start means when I start, how much delay before you register where your mouse is going to start. So when I click start, let's assume I want to start in the corner. So let's say I would have leveled it up like this, the corner. I'd know that from here to here is where the image is going to be drawn. So just level that up, then hide it, press start, and start painting, you know? Now... <clears throat> I can click new file and just select one of many of these drawings. <clears throat> Let's get hmm. Let's get this. Basically this this is how it looks right now. Then I'm gonna process it. It's already black and whitish, but yeah. Then I click start. Put my pen right there. Now, right now, I have it set for 10 seconds. But, you know, when I program it, it's going to be anytime you want. And look at how fast that goes. It goes so fast. <laughs> it goes so fast. Look, my mouse can move freely now. And the paint application is still painting it. And that's how fast it is. <clears throat> so, um... Yeah, I went so fast, the paint application is lagging behind of what I've done. And as you can see, it <laughs> it's, it's drawing it right now for me. <clears throat> but, um, it, def <laughs> it definitely needs to go slower, as you can see, uh, from the paint application lagging really behind. So, yeah. Here you can change the width and height. Let's say you want to make it smaller because that's the size right now. <clears throat> Let's say I make it 196 by 190. That's the size it's going to be, I guess. Well, the frame resize. Yeah, there's another bug I need to fix. Okay. <laughs> uh, the bug I saw was that the frame resized, but the image, the image didn't. So yeah. Okay, so as you can see, um, not only does it take take too long to draw, it does miss some spots, like this, this area, because it goes too fast. So that's something else I'm going to be fixing, uh, just for the speed. It's based off the speed. So yeah, um, stay tuned, and whenever the application is done, I'll just drop it in the 
you know, description. I'll put an annotation saying it's done. Thanks for watching.